Hey guys, welcome to Fun Gun. This particular video, we're gonna be going over some of my favorite cases here for guns. These are a Pelican case, and this is a Pelican 1075, and I'm also gonna show you the Pelican 1085 in a second, which is the bigger brother of this case, and why I like these cases for gun cases. And I'm gonna go ahead and say the reason that these are in the Hidden in Plain Sight series is because these particular cases are actually made for a laptop or a tablet. So they don't really look like a gun case. So therefore, if you're carrying this around, it doesn't really look like you're carrying a gun. So that's why I put it in this category. This is, I guess, the more practical version of my Hidden in Plain Sight series here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by saying, being a Pelican case, you'd expect it to be waterproof. It's not, it's supposed to be, but even without the guns in them, they don't close up tight enough for what I would consider to be waterproof. But let's go ahead and pop this here particular gun case open here or this particular case open let me show you why i like these cases so much well, i guess the number one reason is how thin they are as you've seen there just a second ago when i was holding it up versus your factory cases how thick and bulky they are these cases allow for you to cram quite a few of them into the small space stacking them wise and whatnot but these cases actually come with a relatively durable pick and pluck foam in them now as you'll see i didn't exactly use that way of doing it. I actually just custom cut the outline of the gun into the foam. I'll go ahead and show you that this is a Grand Power X caliber and it is empty. Nothing in the chamber, no magazine in the gun. I will say you can actually put another mag in here to allow you to have four mags in the case. And without the extended mag here, you could have actually cut out and had a fifth mag fit in the case. But Let's go ahead and I will say, if you haven't seen the X caliber, this is a pretty awesome gun as you can see there. It has a rotating locking system instead of a browning action. It's one of my favorite nine millimeters. Had this thing for quite a while. You'll see this in a future video more than likely. But yeah, that's what I like about these cases. And I'll go ahead and show you a case here that I cut out for a gun that's a little bit more common, I guess. A little more useful to most people. This is a Kimber Rapide. It's a 1911, obviously. So this is something a lot more people are going to have than the Grand Power there. So as you can see, it'll fit your Kimber just fine. I'm going to go ahead and show you that the Kimber is also unloaded. Nothing in the chamber there. Go ahead and put that back in the case. And like I said before, you can actually see that I did the same thing on this one. I went ahead and custom cut the foam to fit the gun. Now, as for the mags here, you can actually just remove one bar of your pick and pluck foam here, and your 45 mags fit perfectly in there, and you could actually put at least a couple more mags right there, maybe one more right there. It's just how many mags I have, and you can also put one in the gun there. Again, I didn't put one in the gun, just so I could easily show you that it's empty. But and these cases are really well made. As you can hear there, they click and lock pretty well. They actually come with a little cheap sling. I would show you that, but I don't hadn't seen them in years, let's be honest. I don't know what they happened to them or what happened to them, that is. They actually have little rubber feet on the bottom of them. These cases are well made. Let's go ahead and show you one that's a little more useful if you have a large gun or just want to fit a lot more stuff into your case. And this is the uh, 1085 series of case. And, it's got my Vacorsion Scorpion in here and all the mags I have for this particular gun, which is, it's cut out to fit 10 mags, nine here plus one in the gun, which there's there again, there's not one in the gun for ease of showing you that it's empty as before this gun is empty. In this case, uh, you can cram quite a bit more stuff in this. Let's say you're gonna go hunting and you wanna put like a 10 millimeter 1911 or a pretty large revolver which i haven't tried putting revolvers in these this case is actually a little bit thicker than your 75 so you might actually be able to put a revolver in here in the cylinder clear and as you can see this is the foam for the 75 this is the 85 it's just a little bit thicker so your gun's a little more flush with the foam here but there again, I did the same thing on this. I just took out one bar of foam to allow for the mags to sit down in there. And then I cut out a little slot and a notch from a carbon fiber custom 
little mag assist loader there. And then right here is your comp tool. I went ahead and just put a little slot up there to keep it with the gun so I didn't have to worry about losing it. And I will say, I didn't show this on the other two cases, but you can actually fold your phone back right here. And if you want to put some paperwork back there or a few little accessories that come with your gun, like I got my extra springs from my grand power in behind there on my other, ver or the first case I showed you there. So it's a good place to keep up with your extra stuff there to go ahead and stick it in behind there. But yeah, the, it's a really nice case. I'm not going to say they're cheap. This particular version of the case right now on Amazon is $88 or $89. I guess that's before tax and shipping. So they're not cheap cases, but your gun is well fitted into it. If you cut it out properly, they're not going anywhere. It's well protected. Like I said, it's relatively discreet. It doesn't look like you're carrying around a gun. It looks more like a laptop. So that's pretty nice. And then your 75, they're running around 70 bucks. So you got about a $20 difference in your 85 and your 75 right here. But you can get quite a bit more stuff into your 85, as you can see. And yeah, this is just one of my favorite cases. And I just like how mainly how thin they are, how durable they are being a Pelican case. And I figured I'd go ahead and share that with you guys and figured if anybody was interested in them, it would be something that you might like to set up for yourself there so that's all i got for you today thanks okay for guys if you made it this far in the video i just want to say thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and share if you're looking for more fun with guns right now pick one of the two recommended videos there if you're looking for more fun with guns later go ahead and hit that there subscribe button i sure would appreciate it and if you're finding me from facebook just go ahead and click that there open ad button at the top of the page to make that a whole lot easier and that's all i got for you today i'll see you next time